year. What are your takeaways from 2022 that you are going to apply so that you can have a thriving 23? You know, I think the most important thing that I learned in 2022 was how to strike that balance between personal time, family time, and the demands of the world. 2020 and 2021 took a lot out of us as we retreated in the lockdown. As we started to move back into society, it was easy to want to overcommit to things, but you have to remember where you're grounded, and that's at home, and that's with the church, that you can grow with those communities. And I'm looking forward to carrying that message forward in 2023. Uh, definitely more time with family. Um, that's something with uh, where I've been doing a lot of traveling, a lot of, but I'm realizing that God has want me more at home. Um, and also more stepping up the giving game also. You know, we got a lot of auxiliaries here at the site on the campus that we're doing. And it's a lot of stuff that we're doing like, hey, we need to go ahead and make sure that we pro financially provide and spiritually provide for the community. I'm gonna bring my family with me, of course, my friends, everyone. You know, I'm definitely gonna bring this church. I just came a new member and I love the church and I'm planning on bringing them into the next year. Good, he said he's bringing the church into the new year. Thank you so much for that. Um, first and foremost, I think I'm going to take the everything that I learned about hope, right? So those moments where I feel discouraged, I will lean on the hope that I have because that's all we have. And also take my faithfulness in God until 2023. That's all I can do. Hey, man, remain faithful. That is a good word. I think I'm just going to go in with confidence. Um, I think a lot of the teachings from this year have really strengthened my growth and my walk with Christ. So from giving to serving, from faithfulness, I'm just going to go in with more confidence that, you know, for my future. Yeah. yeah, so a big thing for me is making sure that I get connected and staying connected to community because life isn't meant to be done alone. So community is so important. So that's what I'm taking into year 2023. I think the idea of building intentional relationships, so making sure that I hold on to the people who I have already, but then also seeking out new relationships and being intentional about those to build like a true community. Hope, going into the new year with hope, having hope for the new year. Yes, and more love. More love. Hope and love. Can't go wrong with those two. Hope and love. Thank you so much. We just want to keep Jesus first. And remember that he is the reason for the season and for everything else. That, you know, uh, without him, we are nothing. And we're just so thankful that he uses us, that he chose uh, vessels like us to represent him. And that we hope that when people see us, that they see Jesus. Amen. I concur. Yeah. How to effectively transition into a new season of life. Hmm. Mm -hmm. That effective transition, that is very important. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yes. I would say that definitely everything is a process. You can't rush anything and you have to be patient and wait for it to happen. Wow, patience. That's good. What about you? Um, just that everything happens for a reason, rather it's good, bad, that at the end there's always something bigger. Wow, I love that something bigger. What about you, Mackenzie? I'm going to take in like the wisdom and the maturity that I've gotten because things, things have happened this year and I, ne I needed it to happen because now I'm better for it. He said he is wiser and more mature and the world is going to see. I love it. What about you, Jace? Uh, hard work pays off. Hard work pays off. Thank you all so much and have a happy new year.